Hello and welcome back to another episode of Expeditions. Now in this episode, we're actually going to be doing some free roam on Arizona, or rather in Arizona, but on the Arizona map. And while I was out there, I ended up seeing a lot of different lines that I figured those would be really fun. And so I was like, well, why don't we get a rig together that will probably not flinch at just about any obstacle and just kind of take it out and see what it can do. So that's why we're going to go through the customization of the Project 78 real quick. I feel like we don't need that. Uh, 1600 horsepower is at the bottom of the list of what we need. I'm honestly really tempted uh, to go with the lifted flex. However, I still feel like that's going to put the center of gravity up a little higher than we would actually want it to be. So I'm going to go ahead and actually use the standard flex uh, suspension just to keep that center of gravity down. I think I'm going to do these 54 inch custom cut tires because they're so incredibly wide and that'll actually help us get a super wide footprint and hopefully uh, make some of the notch climbs a little easier. Ah, uh, I'm so back and forth about it. I might as well. Honestly, I wish that these were easier options to choose from because I would just sit here forever and just scroll back and forth between the available options. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and actually do, I think I'll do the stinger bumper actually. Oh, there we go. I'll definitely want the tube doors. Now here's my question. Do we want to leave the cap on or do we want to actually go ahead and take it off? Oh, that looks so sick. So I actually deliberately dropped in uh, in a part of the map that I hadn't really ever explored at all before. So a lot of what I'm about to see and what y'all are about to possibly see is going to be all new to me. So apart from like the little area around the spawn point. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and fire this thing up and get started. <laughs> So incredibly loud. I also want to go ahead and see how much flex it actually has. Oh, that's that's definitely usable. Oh, there's so much to explore. Oh, we could actually do a recovery. I almost want to try that, but at the same time, I feel like... At the same time, I almost feel like I want to do that a little bit later. I think we'll worry about that later. Cut, there's like rock crawling obstacles no matter where you look. Ridiculous. Uh-huh. Although I will say the view up here is wild. Look at that. I'm also not gonna lie, I have so many intrusive thoughts about just sending this thing off the cliff. I wanna do it, but I know I shouldn't. So I actually decided to switch areas of the map and come over to where I was in the last episode, um, or rather just in the general area 
of where we were in the last episode because I wanted to try some uh, creative lines in this area. Although we do have to get through the river first. Oh, there it is! So I'm looking at this on my left, and I'm honestly thinking to myself, is that too much? Or is that an actual, like, usable obstacle? I know I shouldn't, but I think I'm gonna try it anyway. <laughs> oh no. Alright, come on, Bronco. Oh, that was a little anticlimactic. Oh, what? A uh, slightly different line. Honestly, what I need here is I just need a slightly better approach. Um, and I also am going to need, I'm probably going to need up top. Oh, it does not want to do it. It is honestly so unhappy about this. Oh, why am I even bothering with that? I have a bunch of these. Oh, what the? You can... Huh? Oh, that's strange. It honestly doesn't seem to even want to drop down. Okay. I guess we're doomed to winch recovery. And after a lot of back and forth, uh, with just winching the random trees and hoping for the best, um, I did actually find that some other really interesting lines that I wanted to try. So let's go ahead and just see what happens. It's already off to a little bit of a sketchy start. Oh, I don't know why I, I didn't already have my tire pressure down. I should have. no way uh, that they're actually going to let you use an anchor here. But apparently I was wrong. Almost. I am going to need another one, though. I'm also switching back and forth between, con um, uh, between controller and mouse kind of a lot, and so that's why I'm doing all of this back and forth. We're almost there. Oh no! Honestly, the constant battle uh, with this thing is trying to get that rear axle up and over the obstacle. Once you've got it up and over, you're pretty much solid, but I think the problem I constantly run into is the fact that just getting that rear axle to get up and over an obstacle is not always the simplest task. So if y'all enjoyed this video and you want to attempt this yourselves, make sure you check this thing out um, and actually put this vehicle to use out in the dirt because it's honestly a really fun rig to drive. And if you would like to see more videos like this one, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on and I'll see y'all next time.